and started as a little community festival and, and they did the first one. Then the second year they were washed out by uh, Hurricane, I don't know which one it was. It was <laughs> and, um, and then so the third year, uh, through some folks at the Department of Tourism and other folks, they called me up and asked me if I might be interested in getting involved to give them an idea of something different that they could do that might generate some travelers to go out there. It's as simple as uh, food and music. I mean, that was all we did. It's a, they have a stunning backdrop like you guys do here, and, and I know guys who cook food, and I know guys who play music, so I called them all up and said, let's go have a party up Elston. We'll be able to come, and that's, that was basically it. And everybody you know, who's sitting here has been a part of it. And it's, uh, it's magic. You know, like it, it's, um, but it's so simple. And it's and it's so it's so in keeping with what's happening here at the end. I mean, all of, you know, like the Disneyfication of Newfoundland is something that a lot of us dread. You know, mm -hmm. it's like uh, the, the patting on the head and the mm -hmm. quaint Newfoundlander and, and the, the, the traveler that comes and, and they get to see you know guys with southwestern sound singing with a rat with a roar and all that kind of stuff, right? And the thing about it is, is what's cool about Newfoundland is not that you know, and, and it's so it's so cool. It's like we're too cool for school. Like it's <laughs> it not really like it really is like the, the, the impact that it has, and I'm, you guys must see it here all the time. I mean, the impact that Newfoundland has physically, the place, the people, the food, the music, it changes people's lives, and uh, and that is not an overstatement. We we have a little BB in St. John's, and we see it all the time there. People, and Murray and I were talking about this last night. We've had people stand on the, the doorstep of our old Victorian house on Gower Street, heading back to the plane to go back to Toronto, with <coughs> tears in their eyes because they have to, they're leaving. You know, so um, I think that you know, in terms of food culture and stuff like that, we're just taking advantage of what we got. And a bunch of us have you know traveled a little bit and been around, and we know what's out there in the world. And there's nothing out there any better than what we have here. And I get the confidence level that we have now. Uh, you know, over the last number of years, and just you know, the general way that Newfoundland is viewed has helped us. And then you can't discount the fact that the economy, especially in St. John's area, is, is rocking. So for restaurant business, I mean, that's what breads are, you know, butters our bread. So that lets us be able to do this kind of stuff. The uh, the national committee.